friends. So I grew up in a fairly small city where I used to always make fun of my parents because we can't go out to a restaurant without them bumping into somebody that they know. But growing up in that environment had its perks. Big enough for strangers, small enough for the lady at the donut shop that we'd go to on Sundays after church to slip us a couple extra donuts every week like clockwork for a solid decade. But when I moved to a bigger city, I welcomed the anonymity. No more having to be Michelle and Daryl's daughter. No more having to make awkward conversation at the grocery store with people who never liked me in high school in the first place. It can be a powerful feeling to walk around knowing that nobody has any sort of backstory on who they think you used to be. But then one day you'll be in a coffee shop and they'll call your name when your order's ready and you'll realize that's the first time anyone said your name out loud in weeks. So. Instead of sitting inside at my desk right here, I started doing my work in one of two places. First is this juice shop in the busiest part of the neighborhood by the park and the bookstore. It's always warm and humid and it's run by activist women with cool haircuts. I get a tropical green juice, 16 ounce, or when they have it, a cranberry apple lemon ginger. It's a bunch of leafy plants and art by local women artists and the word Bitcoin is scratched into the mirror in the bathroom for reasons I don't understand. I sit at a long table with strangers and type on my laptop to the whir of blenders and playlists that heavily feature both Fleetwood Mac and TLC. And at least three times I've been in there, a song will come on and everybody in the shop just sort of starts singing with it under their breath a little bit until we all realize that we're doing it and a genuine sing-along breaks out. The second place is a coffee shop where I get an Earl Grey tea that comes in a glass mug. There's stacks of comic books on the table and an actual vinyl record player, so I always have Shazam open on my phone because the music is so good, I always want to know what it is. I grab a stool at the counter by the window, which fogs up sometimes on cold days. People come in wearing black and ripped denim, and the barista, who always knows my order before I even say it, sometimes gives me the unicorn mug, which is the one white one when all the other ones are green and yellow and red. Both of these spots are hipster garbage, I admit it, but so am I. And I don't mind having a moment every day where, at the very least, someone knows my name and what beverage I'd like to consume. And I like hearing what they're listening to these days, or what they're studying in school, or what protests they went to this weekend, or what furniture they need for their new apartment. I like knowing that I can still slip back out into the neighborhood where nobody knows or all too much cares who I am or where I'm going. But in the space of those couple hours, I can feel a bit normal. I can be regular. Tell me in the comments about a place that you frequent, and if you like this video, you can subscribe if you like. You can also find me anywhere on the internet in the links below, and I will see you next week. Bye!